like to ask Dave Carl to come forward. Dave has been a pastor here of youth ministry and family ministries for 13 plus years. Uh, he's also uh, uh, worked at Insight for Living Ministries. Uh, he has two children, three children, okay? And he's worked with youth and, and young adults, so you know he's got to have a sense of humor. But he, he's worked with family ministries before, and he has uh, graciously uh, uh, come forward to, again, help us. If you need some help or you're really struggling with family issues or we know that, that unemployment, you know, there's the financial issue, there's the mental issues, there's the spiritual issues. So we try to support you in all those areas and, and Dave can be a wonderful guy to help you with that. So I'm gonna turn the mic over to Dave who's gonna uh, introduce himself, give a little biography and, uh, and prayer and then uh, we'll move forward with this morning, okay? Thank you, John. Some of you are, there was quite a number of first timers and just because I, for my job, I spend a lot of time talking with, with people. And I know that there is a, an epidemic, perhaps, of church hurt. And depending upon your past experience, coming into a place like this might be one of the more anxiety-creating things for you. And I, I want you to know, on behalf of the staff and on behalf of, of Jesus, you are safe here. You will be respected here. We, we are here to assist you in the ways that you want to be assisted. We're not trying to get new club members. We're not trying to, to, do, to get anything. We want to serve you in every conceivable way. And I'm here representing the spiritual part of that. And we have all these gifted people taking care of the other things. But in a situation of anxiety, not knowing the future, wanting to know what's next, which is very difficult to do, the spiritual is often overlooked. So I just want to offer Stonebriar Church, we are here for that. And we will be gentle. We have no hidden agendas. I get no commission for anything. I barely get coffee around here, so it's... But we want to serve you because we follow Jesus. And if you've had past church experiences that are harrowing, and I know there, there are in a, in a group this size, I'm so sorry. That was perhaps a church that was not Jesus. That's not the way he operates. Jesus loves and invites, and we just want to be a representative of that. So thank you for being here. I'm going to pray over you. I want to pray success. And as the guys were talking in the, the back, in this group, success is we don't see you again. So I find that, I find that a little confusing, but I understand. So I'm, I'm going to pray success and that you don't have time to come back. But uh, as you do, we want you to feel safe and comfortable and cared for. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the, the people who have assembled everything that's required to pull this off, to assist in this unique way that is so, so needed. I pray, Lord, that you would wrap your arms around this room, that, that no, no dark thing would be allowed to come in and distract, and accuse, and shame. I pray that this would be a safe place where tools could be gained and peace could be found. I pray a blessing over this group. I pray that they would find the jobs that they need for their families and their futures. I would bless them financially, physically, and invite them to be blessed spiritually. 
I pray these things in the strong name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Dave. Oh, he's also a woodworker. Does marvelous stuff. <laughs> and he's still got all ten fingers. Okay. Well, we're pleased this morning. Uh, I'm going to ask Foster to come up. Uh, we're, uh, he'll introduce Dirk Spencer. Some of you know Dirk. Dirk's a marvelous, marvelous recruiter who uh, has a lot of great insights into the background of applying for positions and whatnot. It's going to be a great presentation. But right now, we're going to let Foster take over. See if they turn my mic. Your mic. Oh, there it is. Okay. I've got a mic, and they turned it on. And guys, you never know what you're going to get when Foster's got a mic. Oh, my God. Man. Oh, can I interrupt you for a moment? Absolutely. Okay. Stop talking while I'm interrupting. Okay. <laughs> um, when Dirk presents, and if, if I don't know how he, he, he'll tell you how it's going to run, but if you have anything to say, questions, comments, feedback to any of us, uh, we'll try and get a mic in front of you uh, so everybody can hear you because somebody may, else may have the same question. So give us a chance to get the mic in front of you. And then we ask, since you're networking today, to please stand and at least give us your name. You don't have to give us the elevator speech if you don't want or any of that, but please stand and give a name so people can see you and hear your name and, uh, and connect with you. I'm done. No more interruption. Okay, guys, hello. I'm Foster Williams, and I've been a recruiter for a long time. I'm always talking about this network. I love this network. Uh, 25 years ago, I started putting together components of this network, and there's more than just Foster. So uh, we all came together as a total network in about 35 states now. Is that Christopher Plumley? I see you back there. All right. Hey, Christopher. Good to see you. Always good to see you. So, guys, um, Dirk Spencer right there, we're going to be listening to next. I'm going to go through a list of people here that I have in my hand that I want you guys to see and understand that they are part of this network and, and they are workers in the family. I'm going to speak about a family now because Dirk and I and many other recruiters, we kind of call ourselves the old-time recruiter. We're not old, but... Uh, we pretty much started recruiting around Dallas-Fort Worth, and, and we went through the, the morphing and everything that it's become now. But Dirk probably easily is the number one of us on that functional recruiting spot. There's no way that I could keep up with the things that Dirk knows, and he's going to share a lot of those things with you guys today. But before Dirk gets up here, let's see. I've got my piece of paper to help me. I want you guys to meet some people, I want you to wave your hand so people can see you when I mention you. Where's Ron Layton? There's Ron. Guys, Ron runs what we call the pit crew. Now, this will make sense when I say this. It is the practice interview team, practice interview training. That makes sense. You guys are all looking for a job. Is everybody looking for a job in here? Did I come to the right meeting? I'm not looking for a job. I've got... What's the, yes, I am. I'm looking for many jobs because I'm looking for you guys. So that is Ron Layton. Uh, Layton Coat. Did I'm saying this right? Cozad Layton, right? Okay. Did I say that right, Layton? Okay. Layton is with Catapult. Guys, you should get to know Layton. Catapult does a lot of recruiting and, and represents a lot of companies around. And uh, Layton, I got to come shake your hand because I haven't met you. I'm that dude that never shuts up. So let's see who else we got. Where is Sonia Lowry, my friend? I saw her. There she is in the back, guys. Sonia has been a networker for, for I'm not going to say forever, but for a long time. When I first started networking, people directed me, probably 100 people directed me to Sonia Lowry. You got to meet Sonia Lowry. Sonia has worked for Lee Hecht Harrison retired from there, and then went back. So she is at present still 
serving at Lehigh Terrison, right, Sonia? Sonia has a meeting on Mondays uh, on Zoom that uh, serves the senior level uh, executives of us. So you guys probably want to get to know Sonia if you are a senior level job seeker. Okay. And our recruiters from Thomas Edwards Group, is, they're probably the number one company. Hey, Jason. The, the, uh, they're probably the number one company that has built a relationship with us. The Thomas Edwards Group is known for financial uh, service to corporations around here. And they've got an IT department because they did the financial thing so well. All, a lot of companies were asking them, hey, we need to hire an IT person. Can you guys hire us an IT person? That's how good they are. And then now, of course, Pete and I like this because they have a section of their company that handles HR folks. And there's a lot of different things that are under the HR umbrella. So the Thomas Edwards Group will be here probably by the time that we go to break. You guys will be able to chance to meet them. There's Kelly. Sorry, guys. I'm ADD. So I see my friend. I, get, I love my job. I get to meet my friends. Okay. Bob Ernst. John has already mentioned. Where's Bob? Where Bob? Oh, I thought you were back there with, with Trevor and Mark. So Bob Ernst is there. He is with uh, Edward Jones, as, as John told us earlier, a uh, member of this church right here. He has been a member of our team for years and years. So another good networker. I always like to mention that Bob flew UH-60 helicopters in the Navy, right? Got it. Thanks for your service, Bob. That stuff means a lot to me. My, I mean, my dad was World War One. No, World War Two. Oh my! See, you never know what you're gonna get when Foster's got the mic. All right, and I want to bring Pete up. Thank. I don't have to. D, I didn't even see you sitting back there. Hey, D. Pete's going to talk about you. I'm going to shut up and let Pete talk about you. Guys, we got a big old job fair. I think this is the biggest job fair I've ever seen, and I've been a recruiter for a couple of years now. Uh, Y'all get that? And Pete's going to talk about that, and D Pete's going to talk about D and what D's got going on. D's been a friend of ours for a long time, and she is an HR leader. So, Pete. Thank you, sir. Good morning, everybody. All right, real quick, Dee DeLuca, way in the back over there in, in the blue. She runs a group now on the first and third Wednesdays in the evening at 6.30 p.m. at Preston Trail Community Church here in Frisco. So if you're interested in that, uh, go see Dee. She'll give you all the details for it. Again, starts at 6.30 p.m., first and third Wednesday, which means they're meeting tomorrow evening. So again, Miss Dee back there in the blue will have all the details for you. So real quick on the job fair that Foster mentioned, how many of you already signed up for the job fair? You're aware of it, excellent. For those of you who haven't, there's a gigantic uh, job fair at the new ballpark in Arlington, you know, air conditioned, closed ceiling, the whole thing. And there's gonna be close to 500 companies attending. So if you haven't signed up already, if you haven't registered, please do so like today, because within a couple of days, they have to send you a waiver for you to sign. And for those of you, because I've heard this many times already, Waiver, I gotta sign a waiver every time you buy a ticket to an event, ballpark, concert, whatever. Read the fine print, there's a waiver there too. So it's just a regular standard waiver that the ballpark will give out to you. You must submit that before you can come. So go to my NTX, as in North Texas, myntxjobs.com, register, and then the next 48 hours, look for that email, check your spam, look for that email from them with the waiver and then you'll be coming in. It's 11 to 3 this coming Thursday, August 8th. Again, I would encourage you highly to go through that list of companies that's on their website, the one I just gave you, and see which companies you want to go visit. Make yourself a list. Come prepared. Uh, questions that frequently get asked. Should I bring paper resumes? Yes, you should. How many? Depends on the companies you want to, you want to see. Um, you're going to get the entire spectrum from companies asking for your paper resume and say, hey, can you step over here five minutes? Let's have a quick conversation to those saying, email me your resume to this email address or apply online for these positions, the whole spectrum. So 
on your mobile device. Have a copy of your Word document, or your resume, and PDF as well. Still some companies out there may ask for a PDF copy. Have both of those ready so you can email them right there on the spot or give it to them. And the same thing, bring them, I'm saying, 25, 35 paper copies of your resume, just in case. If you're applying for a lot of smaller companies, plan on having paper resumes. The big behemoths may not want paper. So again, be prepared for everything. I'm telling people to bring two things for sure. Your patience and comfortable shoes. There are going to be a lot of people there, and a lot of them, especially for the popular companies, standing in line. So be ready for that, but use that opportunity to network with everybody else in line with you. Expand your network. You never know that person standing next to you may have the contact you're looking for. So be prepared for that. And with every recruiter you meet, even if it's at 2.30 and you're already spent, energy, smiles, enthusiasm, make them want to hire you. But you're going to get tired after being there a few hours, uh, but do that. By the way, uh, like I said, there will be Wi-Fi throughout, air conditioning will be on, they'll have charging stations throughout, concessions will be open, so all that's taken care of. Parking is free, so all those questions that I usually get about this. South Lake Focus Group will have a desk, a table there, a booth, so come by and see us if you're there. Say hello to me, Foster will be there as well, a few other uh, people from South Lake Focus. Um, I think I had all I had on that. Any questions about that before I exit stage left? Cool. Job's done. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. I want to apologize to you guys because there is a definite powerful uh, part of this network. Uh, two guys that I used to be on the radio or podcast with, uh, you guys remember the Who You Know Job Networking Show. And I'm going to get out of these lights over here so I can see them. Where are they? There's Mark Elder and Trevor Houston. Not H Howard, y'all. Right there. Now, there are Career Transition Summit uh, 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 information on, the, on each and every desk down there. You guys connect with these guys. It's just like John said. They are here to help you expand your network and learn good things about job search while you're in it. You know what? Hey, Dean. Hey, you. You know you guys aren't going to be in job search very long. That sounds good, doesn't it? You'll be surprised where your job will come from. Trust God. I'm not ashamed to say it. Trust God. Go to him and tell him, hey, I'm here. He already knows it. He wants us to come to him and tell him. So tell him what's going on. And anything else you need in your life, ask him. You ain't going to hurt nothing. Come on. And then you know something very unexpected a lot of, most times, unexpected will happen in your job search. 